absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Seminoles of Florida State. with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Seminoles are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brian. Virginia Tech is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important to shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. And another thing, Virginia Tech is going to get manhandled up front in this one. That offensive line is just too big, too talented, and too good. And they're going to have a huge game opening up those holes for the running backs. This one could get ugly. Virginia Tech has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number three, fields it at the seven. defense here to read the draw play. He had a quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> You're having none of that, my friend. Second down and 12. Ball on the 28-yard line. Virginia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Throws in the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 28. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Couldn't haul it in. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Gets it off. Number 20 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 32. Great start so far as their defense forced the early five. Now the offense gets a shot at putting the first points on the board. They'll go to work at the 32-yard line. Trying to get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. They go with the run, and he's tackled four yards on that play. Coming up here, ball on the 36-yard line. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Over the middle, and he can't make the catch. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. It's third down, and six to go. Ball on the own 36. For sure. Trying to make it hard to hear, and the defense urging the crowd to get to their feet. Number 38 gets it off. Number three fields it at the 27. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 34 yard line. First and 10. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back over the middle. 
That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. Second and 10, ball in 34. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Virginia Tech has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Pocket holds under heavy pressure. And they get the sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Number 20, field to the 35. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Hokie come out of the ace formation. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They'll throw on first down. Looking, gives a little pump fake. Someone got a hand up. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Deep pass down the right side. Incomplete pass. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 48 yard line. Number three and four receivers lined up here. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Oh, got a hand up. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So the coverage continues to look impressive on this drive. That'll bring up fourth down. You're right, Brad. The coverage has looked impressive, but this quarterback certainly has not. He just can't seem to find his rhythm. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number 23 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 20-yard line. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. So they'll take over at the 20. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. Number 16 with three wide receivers. On the ground, tailback. Brought down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 22. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. He's going left. And that one's falling incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Virginia Tech brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. Steps up. Look. He's under some heat. Over the middle. And down he goes. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. The goal. Line up in an eye formation. Play action. Here they come. And he's going to come up with a sack. So there's just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, we're going to get me. Second and long coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Seminole come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He's looking. He steps up. Here's the long ball. Left side. It falls incomplete. Number one, the intended receiver on the 
the defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Virginia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. Gets it off. Number 20 calls for the fair catch. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 44. Florida State brings in the nickel here. He lobs it right side, and it's caught. They'll drop and throw off. The line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. The goal. Line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. Plenty of time in the pocket. Long ball, right side. And he's finally shoved out at the 17-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath. Relax. He's just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. They'll give it off here. And he's taken down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. This crowd a factor. Throws it to the outside. Batted ball. Batted away. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up. And he missed it to the right. to the right side. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. The ball is tipped. Fantastic play by the quarterback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The goal set up in the gun. Six yards on the quarterback draw. Gain of six on the play. They're down and four coming up on this one. Ball on their own 26. Line up in the 
jumbo set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you need to see the perfect play call. Wait because of poor execution. For the quarterback. This overshot. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 48 gets it off. Number 20 deals it at the 40. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. They'll get the ball here at the 48-yard line. The Hokies come out the shotgun. Draw play. They'll bring him down. And what a run. And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-win-aided 40. Now that's fast. Non-win-aided? What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to win or not. This kid can fly. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Back to that. He's looking. Someone got a hand up. Guys, someone must have got a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Second and ten. Ball on the 42. Florida State lines up with five defensive backs. Pitch left. Brought down. Didn't get anything. On the carry. No gain on the play. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Hokey with four receivers. He drops back. He steps up. Throws it to the outside. Found his man. Touchdown, VTech. Terrific pass, and the wideout hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's route was the key on that play. You're right, Kirk. His route running really has improved, and the quarterback has been throwing his weight a lot more. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. Turning this one. Number 13 takes it at the end. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll go to work at the 20. They'll work from the shotgun. Draw play. Makes a move. And he tackled. Gain of six on the draw play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Seminole come out the shotgun. And they make the stop. Number 16 on the run. No gain on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 26. Line. Number 16, back in the gun, and the snap goes to the back. Virginia Tech takes a timeout. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He gets it away. Number 20 fields it up to 39. And the fourth. And now 
a slight break in the action as the offense comes out on the field for their next possession. Going out to the right side. Wants to throw outside. He's hit and got away. He might have a chance. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. He lobs it left. Broke away from one. They'll bring it down. Virginia Tech calls the timeout. Right, second and eight coming up here. Ball of the 14. Florida State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Looks, rolling out to the left side. He gives a pump fake, and he throws it away. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Third and eight, ball on the 14-yard line. This place is getting loud. Steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Guys, the pressure was intense, but he let it fly into the end zone anyway. Unfortunately, none of his receivers could get to the football. That's a great play by the defense to make him throw the ball before he wanted to. Trying to get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. It's up, and it sails right on him. No good. the shotgun. High snap. And he's taken down. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. Five yard gain on the play. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own 20. The Knoll come to the line with their jumbo package. See the punt team. Number 48 gets it off. Number 20 takes it to 45. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on the 45. The Hokie line up in an eye formation. down. He's going left. And it's going the other way. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. Right, they'll get the ball here at the 43. Seminole come out the shotgun, drops back to pass, across the middle, incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. Well, here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. Right, 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Virginia Tech has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He drops back, steps up, he's looking, under pressure, going deep. He got it! And they make the stop. Florida State takes a timeout. First and ten. We'll see what they can do with the red zone. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. They'll throw on first down. Throws to the middle. Out of ball. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. The Seminole go with the eye formation. Back to pass. Looking. Throw short. Complete. And they got him for a loss. Number two, Taking back a yard. One yard loss on the play. Florida State calls a timeout. It's third down and 11 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 47 lines up for the field goal. The kick is up. And it's right down the middle. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Florida State, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 12, takes it from the six. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Virginia Tech, seven. Florida State, three. Florida State will be kicking off to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. Florida State brings in the nickel here. He's looking deep down the left side. That is ball. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Second and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out with two tight ends. They're really struggling now. This crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. He's rolling right. Throws it deep downfield. The ball is tipped. Incomplete pass. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 18. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. Looks. Across the middle. And he can't make the catch. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 38 gets it off. Number three takes it to the 47. He's hit and got away. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Excellent field position to start the drive. Virginia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. They'll throw on first down. 
Wants to throw. Up. Got it to his receiver. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and ten. Ball on the 30 yard line. Florida State lines up in a double tight set. Pitch is right. He spins. Brought down. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. The Hokies bring in their dive package. And down he goes. And the counter play gets him the first down. Runs like this, keep him guessing. You got the defense worried about the running game, and that's when you catch him off guard with the through the air. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't pass it. Right here, sweetheart. First and ten. They're inside the 20. Well, the defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their left. The stop. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. Last 12 yards out. The goal. Come out the shotgun. Back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. And that one's fallen incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the line receiver. Smell the goal line. The Seminoles come to the line with their jumbo package. <laughs> Setting up the play action. He's going right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. It's ruled out. No, well, he almost had it. The tight ends usually aren't the most graceful players on the field. One should be makeable. It's up. And it is good. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Number 47, ready to kick. Is lined up with a kick Number 12, back to the Kicks it off. Number 12, fields it at the two. He jukes. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll start this drive at the 20. Four receivers lined up here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And the defense was ready for that play. Boy, you better believe it. That play didn't have a chance. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Two tight ends here. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. They line up in the shotgun. Drop the back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. That is ball. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. The defense now really trying to get the crowd 
into it. Number 38 gets it off. Number three, back to return. Number three, takes it to the 45. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 47. the shotgun here. Draw play. And he's tackled. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 49. The Seminole come out showing three wide. this one out to the left and he's got it he's all the way down to the 23 what do you think of that one mr corso well i'm gonna say that was a nice catch he got a bunch of yards there and that's going to spread this defense out a little first and ten ball in the 23 Three is the single setback over the middle, and he can't make the catch. Dropped by the wideout. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Florida State goes with the ace set here. On the ground, with the tailback. They'll bring him down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Virginia Tech brings in their nickel package. Looking. Steps up in the pocket. Here comes the pressure. Just throws this one away. Take the lead here. He gets it up. And it's good. That's going to lead this to our Pontiac drive somewhere. Florida State to kick. Number 12, back to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 20, fields it at the seven. Oh, two. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. Three outs of fast they had a slow ball replay. Recap. They'll set up shot at the 26. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Counter right. And he's stuck behind the line. Hey, Kirk, it's not too easy to run it when the safety is flying with a ball like that. Only I think they have to use a guard, maybe, maybe even a fullback to get out there. But if you leave him unblocked, he's going to be all over the ball here. Second and 11. Ball in the 25. 25 yard line. Number three lines up in the shotgun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gets a tackler. Tackle. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Florida State, nine. Virginia Tech, seven. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 30. Florida State brings in the nickel here. That's the pass. Steps up. Looks. Over the middle. Got it to his receiver. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert a third and long, it just makes them sick. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Number three with three wide receivers. He drops back. Going deep, lays it up there, and it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Right. 
So it's second and ten. All of their own 39. They'll bring in their dive package. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. Pressure coming. Throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Florida State lines up with five defensive backs. Rolls right. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. Gets it off. Number three. Fields it at the 27. Breaks one. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 42-yard line. Virginia Tech brings in their nickel package. He steps up. He's going right. Got it to his receiver. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Florida State. Wow. Once he caught that one, nobody was going to get it. You know, Jack, this kid is a true sprint. He runs track in the offseason. And it shows right here, Kirk. It looked like he was running against a high school secondary. On the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Florida State, 16, Virginia Tech, 7. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. Number 20 and number 12 back to return. Kicks it off. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. So they'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. Florida State brings in the nickel here. Toss. And he's taken down. A gain of one. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 20. He drops back. Looking. Here they come. Look out. That is ball. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 20 yard line. Florida State lines up in the nine defense here. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Over the middle. Tough break there on third down. Oh, you hate to see this. They had an opportunity to keep moving the ball, and the receiver just couldn't come through with the catch. Gets it off. Number three. Takes it at the 45. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. They line up in the jumbo set. the ground. 
the middle. So stay up and get down. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. One continue yard. to milk that clock. Second and nine. Ball on the 42-yard line. 42-yard line. Bring in the nickel package. The counter. Brought down. Short little game there. Just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running. And keep that other offense off the field. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws a long pass out to the right. And it's caught. He's got a lot in the backfield. The Hokies all for a timeout. And they'll have two of eight. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 48 gets it off. Number 22 signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and ten. Ball in their own 20. The Hokies come out of the ace formation. They're really struggling now. This crowd is going absolutely insane. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. Complete. And they make the stop. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. The defense lines up with 6 DB. Down the middle. And got it complete. They'll bring him down at the 44. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. Across the middle. They got to him as he was throwing that time. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sacks. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. The Hokies line up with two tight ends. He drops back. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it him again. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. Drops back to pass. Throws it deep downfield. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. Second and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Number 32, alone in the backfield. Steps up, looking, and they got it. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. it deep down the right side. It falls incomplete. No other choice but to go for it here. Across the middle. It's rough. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Take over at the 30-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. 